hi everyone now we are going to do the second stage of this problem now the first step is that we have to copy it co copy command enter copy this part press enter specify the base point i am selecting a base point now the ortho should be on click on the desktop enter delete this we don't need this <clears throat> now i have to rotate this command is ro for rotate select the object the object is selected press enter now we can read specify the base point i am selecting a base point here now in this position we are going we are going to use the reference command okay in rotate command after pressing ro enter after selecting the base point i am typing r enter r for reference enter first reference and the second now to which it should be parallel p it should be parallel to the x y line p enter specify the first point if you're taking the first point at this so take first first point and the second point now one of the slant edges is lying on the hp by using move command m enter you can move it select the base point now after that you can label it by using copy command co copy select the object ortho of you can label all of them now how to label d1 dash c1 dash d1 dash and so on now by clicking it twice that's your b1 dash so b now when should one should be small so change that to 1.5 and type 1 and again change it to 3 and type dash comma F change it one point five one change that to three again dash okay but using move command and enter we can move this after labeling it construct the projection lines by using line command L enter for line command ortho should be on while constructing the projection lines to go to the previous command you are seeing a scale here from there you have to extend that extend it extend it by using <coughs> line command extend all those lines till the end till the end till the end and this line till here <coughs> now again by using line command connect these lines
over now connect this line now you can change the header and label it now you can label it very easily by using copy command co or copy co copy d select d press enter you can see d is here escape again use copy command you can see a is here join them again you can go to the previous command by pressing just space bar b is here what about c c is here to go to the previous command just press space bar f8 on what's that okay wait a minute after copying it just double click and write 1 change 1.5 and write 1 ok label all of them after the labeling is completed it is better you change the color of hb to hb uh, just change the color select all of them now change the color by going to properties you can take red it has been changed one thing we are missing that's the hidden part so by using line command we can complete the hidden part also now we can change this go to properties by layer red layer type dash line we can see it has been changed this part is not visible so hidden part now second stage has been completed in next video we are going to learn about the third stage thanks for watching and see the next video